Hello everybody, this is part 2 of the Keyshot rendering demo of the conceptual hair dryer. Between part 1 and this demo, I have made some changes to the scene. This includes the addition of product graphics on this button, as well as the power value indication at the back region of the hair dryer. Okay, I've already done the rendering of this scene and in the rendering I have included the following settings. I've added the following render passes. They are all added into a PSD file. So let's head over to an image editor to see our final rendered result. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Okay, it's uh, this file over here. Okay, as you can see, because I included the various passes, they are added into the PSD under the render pass group. Okay, so what we can do is to use these render passes to further enhance this render. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to make a duplicate of the final render over here. Okay, and bring the clown pass all the way down to have it as the bottom layer. Okay, basically the clown pass will be used for making selections. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to select the background. And we can do so by using the magic wand. In this case, it's called the flood selection tool. Okay, so uh, with the clown pass layer selected, Okay, click the region that you want to select, which is, which is the background region. Okay. Then I'm going to do is move to this uh, layer. I'm going to do the changes in this layer. Okay, I'm going to uh, invert the pixel selection to cut away this region here. Okay, okay. cut away this region. And then let's inverse the pixel selection again. Okay, now. Let's work at um, enhancing the background so that we can bring the product into better focus. Okay, so go to the adjustments, go to the levels. Let's adjust the black and the white level and see what happens. Okay, basically. What I want to do is to uh, darken the region but leave this part bright so that we can bring the product into a uh, better focus. Maybe something like something like that, okay. something like that okay. so you see if I were to turn this off and turn this on you can see that yep this part is in better focus now so now uh, let's look at the other passes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the render pass group and turn this on the AO layer. I'm going to dislike the others okay. and go to the AO and you notice that let me deselect. Notice that the AO now doesn't seem to be like very useful because we need to use a necessary blend mode to blend the AO pass with the layers below. Okay so what I'm going to do is let's see what is a good uh, blend mode to use okay i'm going to use the multiply okay let's zoom in here okay so we can see uh, what happened with or without the ao okay. so you see now this is without ao and this is with the ao you notice the ao is actually enhancing 
the the age details okay so i want to use the ao to enhance these details okay you can see these areas are nicely darkened up okay so maybe uh, let's bring this down a little bit don't so much okay so something like that okay something like that Okay, so <clears throat> now let's look at the reflection layer. Okay, as it is, we need to use another blend mode to blend it better with the rest. So let's try. Darken, multiply, like Okay, maybe I'll use the screen and the screen actually enhance certain areas. Okay. So but I don't think I want to use the full effect of it. Okay. So let's just uh, adjust this down a little bit. Something like that. Now let's move on to the other pass, GI. Uh, let, let's just see what we can do with it. Okay, GI adds further uh, illumination at certain areas. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of it. That, okay. Yep. Let's look at the lighting. Okay. Uh, Let's see what happens here. Let me use the lighten. and adjust it basically I want to have a little bit of a subtle lighting over here the lightens is able to provide subtle lighting over here Let's look at diffuse. Uh, I don't think I'll I need to use this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Let me duplicate this and make adjustments to this uh, layer to see whether we can still further enhance it. Okay.
I think I can use some black levels like that okay and maybe uh, let's go over to the GI and see whether I can yeah I can adjust this a little bit so that it gives a bit of illumination over here maybe I'll increase the GI over here a little bit Like that. Okay, now uh, let's see with or without the enhancement, what are the changes? Okay, so let's um, of this. Okay, this is the render without the enhancements that we have made. Okay, and this is the render with the enhancement. Okay, so you can see that there are subtle improvements to the scene. And with that, I come to the end of this demonstration. See you around. Bye.